Someone recently asked me how to make a custom PLA profile in the Ultimaker Cure program for their new filaments for their printer. Serendipity is spoken once again, and it so happens that Ultimaker Cure has come out with a new version, version 11. So there's probably going to be a few minor UI changes between 10 and 11. Now, across the top, they didn't change this top banner. You have your IndiCubic uh, Viper, which is going to be your printer selection. That's what I'm using. And then to the right, you're going to have your material selection. The Ultimaker Cura program does come with several default generic profiles for filaments. Now, if we go to PLA, because that was the question, and click on that, if you come over to the uh, print settings here, the most important numbers are going to be your print temperature and build plate temperature, which is found underneath the material section. And that's going to be 260. Well, 200 for the nozzle temperature build plate being 60 degrees centigrade. Now, that's the, the nozzle temperature is a little low, in my opinion, for most PLAs, but it should get the job done. Again, this is a generic run of the mill, should work or come close to working for most filament types. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw up a couple of images of some spools that I have found that I have in my collection, and you'll see that the they come. Most spools have the temperature printed right on the spool, and it will tell you what the range of that filament is. And you'll see the 200 eh, kind of cuts it for all of them except for that one PETG, but it's kind of on the low side. I like to go 220 personally. So let's, how, let's see how we make that. So we come up to the material selection again, come down to materials, and we're going to go to manage materials. Now, I know my filament is PLA. I'm going to use PLA as the base. If I were to have a nylon or an ABS, I would select one of these. But I'm going to start with the generic PLA. I'm going to click on Create. And then it's going to create a new custom material. And let's see, where did I put it? There you go. Custom PLA, custom, custom material. So we're going to change this name to uh, display name is going to be test material. And we're going to be brand is whatever. We're going to leave this material type as PLA. If you have a bunch of different colors that have slightly different temperature ratings on them, you can maybe change, you know, put PLA pink or PLA green or whatever you want here. And here's where going to be your density and diameter. These are really important settings, and for the most part, they're going to be probably these two, unless you have some very specific niche material. But here's where the real rub happens, is underneath print settings. Default printing temperature. We're going to kick that up to 220. And the build plate I have personally found for most PLA 60 is more than sufficient. And for each filament and each printer, this retraction distance, retraction speed are going to require a little bit of dialing in. So run a benchy, see how it looks, and adjust from there. Um, again, this is a pretty generic profile. That's how I use it for PLA, just as my first test. And from the first test, I'll know what direction I need to go. Now, fan speed. PLA does like to be a little bit cooler, so 100% is fine here. So we're going to go ahead and close this, and it will automatically default to my new material underneath test. And you'll see here it shows 220 now as opposed to the 200 it was before. From here, print it out, see how it looks, and then you can dial in for your specific printer for that specific filament from there.